Okay, man. Decided to do something a little bit different for uh, uh, for this uh, vlog update. Uh, obviously, this is a music vlog, and uh, I've been playing guitar for uh, for a long time. Uh, and uh, I think you know, I always had a fascination uh, with uh, with the music from very early on. Um, so anyhow, let's talk a little bit about kind of like um, I thought I'd actually share just uh, what's my what's my favorite um, guitar music scale. When you when you start out on guitar, a lot of the um, a lot of the things that you learn are gonna be like uh, pentatonic stuff. You know, you're gonna learn a, a ton of that. But even even right there, you know, I'm I'm mixing I'm mixing a little bit out of the um, out of the diatonic scale. And to me, that's uh, that's just that's just natural. To me, that's that's. So that's a big giveaway right there. Uh, when I'm playing pentatonics, I can always kind of see the the diatonic side as well. At least I hope I do. <laughs> and if I do, I think the music I'm able to conjure up on the guitar is gonna be just a little bit better. Uh, just because like I can see a little bit more I can I, I I'm aware I, I got a few more notes so the diatonic scale um, obviously has a, has a few more notes than the pentatonics pentatonics are a little bit nice and simple um, just kind of really tasty um, but the thing is uh, there's something lacking you know and a lot of my my favorite musicians guitar players anyhow, anyhow tend to be shredders you know like Ingwe Malmsteen um, guys like uh, George Lynch you know so maybe it makes a lot of sense that when when I when I see a pentatonic I'm like but there's so much more I could I could do like I could fit in that that note right there you know uh, that seventh note that would not be in the pentatonic but that would be in the diatonic scale uh, and so if I'm moving up up or down the fretboard I can I got all these other notes I I could use and uh, if you listen to the shredders uh, they're moving really fast up and down the neck uh, up and down the neck and sure you can do it with pentatonics. You can do it with uh, the blue scale, uh, but that's where actually knowing the full diatonic and being really, really comfortable with it uh, is, is, is so useful because then you can do whatever uh, your mind wants to do, whatever your fingers uh, find around you. Pentatonics are really, really useful for you know uh, sounding good uh, without putting too much effort into it. Um, diatonics obviously you have to you have to spend a bit more time learning it um, but I, I really like it uh, so that's my um, music vlog update for today